That was a nice jump. <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and today we'll be doing a lap, you guessed it because it's the title of the video of course, <laughs> together with Andy and in case you don't know his name it has it on his license plate and for foreign audience it's not that easy to get it in Germany, this is a coincidental combination because the first couple of letters belong to the region where the car is registered and then you can choose whatever follows after, so it's a nice coincidence, congratulations. Yeah, it doesn't have 470 PS but <laughs> you know, that'd be a little overkill. The question point. is because we haven't talked about it because we actually already did a lap to yeah. be sure that the track would not be closed but we didn't talk about horsepower, so what power is it running? It's running 330. 330? Yeah. Nice! Which for the Edition 30 is totally doable because it has the KO4 turbo. Okay. So that's from the S3, uh -huh. from the 8P uh -huh. series, and has some other bits and pieces that are more geared towards that than the actual original Golf 5 GTI. Nice. Do a little bit more with that. Nice. And then if you add some some other things, you know, you do a little bit of the exhaust, you get a little bit more of those gases away, then you can keep those temperatures down and actually run that safely. Cool. I haven't paid too much attention to the temperature, like somewhere halfway through the lap I look at it and it was like approaching 100 degrees on the water I'm like, nah, okay, as long as it doesn't go red line it should be fine. And once we floored it out of, uh, well, at the track entrance or track, yeah, track entrance, like that doesn't feel stuck for a Mark V Golf <laughs> and uh, now a counterization is 330 horsepower. So, having said that, you will understand. You will see that the uh, the car is quite understeery, but probably uh, we talk about setup later in the video. I think you should really look for uh, LSD, like limited yeah. slip differential. Yeah. That's really something with this amount of power. That's an absolute must. So that's probably what contributed to the understeer, because as you can see, the car is running R triple eight R tires, very sticky, quite sticky. Stock brake system, I guess the discs are also stock? Discs or? are stock, uh, mm -hmm. they're ATE and then EBC orange stuff. EBC orange stuff, brake pads. I must say it provided quite good brake performance. It was of course not a big brake kit similar or crazy endless or something, but it was good. It was not, uh, you, you will see it on the lap yourself. Suspension wise, what's there? It's a Falkland uh, Lila. Okay. I've never heard of it to be honest, <laughs> but again, you will see on the lap that it was actually very well coping with everything. It was uh, quite nice. Um, exhaust wise, something different, I think. Looks like MTM. Nice. And I guess like the downpipe and everything as well to, to do all the stuff. Yeah, gotta get that heat away. Yep. And on the inside, the, st the seats were stuck, but they were actually not that bad. It was, it was nice. And then rear deleted because weight and most importantly sound <laughs> yeah. it's you know i appreciate to lap like old cars now it's 15 year old it's not really yeah. old old but you have at least some exhaust sound and no speaker yeah, sound there's no deadening nothing. yeah it's uh, very nice and then there was something with the shifter you told me it's from the golf 6 right or yeah, yeah. nice I was trying to get the edition 30 shifter it's yeah. uh, the same golf ball as like the mark 1 i think has it too ah uh, yes yeah yeah and because it's edition 30 a little bit more limited People want money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> this, it works. Yeah. It'd be cooler to have the. Edition. Exactly. It's at this point you better save money for a different setup and LSD something I'm to make. Drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Even that. Even that. No, it's a cool car. Thank you very much for allowing me to lap it. It was very cool. And uh, you guys enjoy the lap. So it's the first gen DSG, huh? Yep. I'm pretty happy with it. I had a a regular L5 GTI before that. Yeah. With the manual. Yeah. Um, and then this sort of walked across the road and uh -huh. presented itself. It doesn't feel stuck. No. <laughs> but it feels well balanced actually yeah. so far. I like it. I'm not a professional, so I don't have a feeling yet, but it feels good. I like driving it. Yeah, when 
that on, it's just it's, you're pushing yeah. the car, the car is pushing back.
jump. <laughs> like the steering rack the ratio from lock to lock it was like really some turns of the yeah yeah I, I've had those moments too yeah, yeah yeah and but that's I guess that's the only fix it like with the with the go go six because mm -hmm. I drove this I drove by now like all every golf pretty much except well actually one two three on the track I didn't drive those okay uh, but Four and five, four is like absolutely horrible with steering rack mm -hmm. unless you put like TT quick rack on, which I, what I had. And uh, five was uh, yeah now also quite uh, interesting, but six and seven are actually quite okay. Uh, so yeah, if you can live with that, it's no problem. But I like that uh, a in comparison to Mark IV Golf, you can do left foot braking because okay. Mark Mark IV Golf intercuts the the throttle. You cannot do it ah. uh, unless you remap it okay um, and the traction control was actually not giving me any 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 bullshit you know you, okay. it's off it's off right it doesn't like pull you out to the outside yep. when you go really really fast mm -hmm. so that was good um, and overall like the power delivery and everything was uh, quite nice so you just need to see what alignment values you're running right um, to solve that understeer issue because it's like exceptionally a lot, you know, for, for the car with semi slicks. Okay. It was just like really, like, uh, like really pulling to the outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's at the end of the day, also, like, you know, a safety thing. That yeah, can, definitely. So, definitely. Um, could you fix that with, with anti roll bar? Or yeah, there, there, there are multiple things you can do. You, you, you could do, of course, anti roll bar. You could do, uh, just see, just see first what the alignment values are. Mm -hmm. um, like more camber will solve you also or the rear for example if you could uh, put a stiffer anti roll bar in the rear mm -hmm. that's actually with, with a mark full go golf is that's what usually people do is put an anti roll bar in the first place because there is none in the rear on mm -hmm. the on the stock mark four uh, so to have the rear a bit more twitchy that might help but then it makes the rear a bit more twitchy obviously right but uh, the front turn and is like that was the biggest issue that the tires had like no grip whatsoever so i don't know if it's alignment values but ju just have a look what, what there is okay. i mean ideally if you're trying to scar a lot just you know go to monty or something or mm -hmm. radar and ask them to do proper alignment on it and they will they will do it you know okay uh, instead of like messing around yourself yeah just, no, I'm not, you I'm know not just ju ju just to be done with it but... um i'm currently staying at uh, you know ie supercars yeah in, in uh-huh and um, I mean, they're not super VW, but they have a um, alignment mechanics. mechanics. He's got mechanics. a Polo 86C. Okay. So he's got some experience with the VW. Cool. Maybe ask him if he could. Yeah, maybe they can do something, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it, was, uh, it was nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, I, um, awesome. Didn't expect it to. I mean, I never have like full any uh, much expectations of a car and try to keep them away and just right. like to, you know. But uh, it's still, by, by now it's like, what, close to 20 years old almost? It's 15, 15, 15, yeah, uh, 2007. Yeah, so it's... Uh, we, we just had birthday pretty, um, what, June? Mm -hmm. I think we just had our birthday. 
um, but I mean for 15 year old cars definitely no no I mean, it, 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 it handles good like it's just like like I said the steering rack but that's you, unless there's yeah. some sort of quick rack and the alignment but everything else like you know the car was under braking was stable I mm -hmm. mean uh, of course there was like it's the smaller brakes don't cope well yep. Yep. with the the tire grip that you have okay um, in terms of like the stock brake cylinder and stuff so sometimes when you go on the brake and then the pedal falls through because it then goes so called in a full ABS mode mm -hmm. and then it kind of panics like what the fuck there is so much grip what what should I do so right. it's like especially with, like exit foxhole that was like a funny yeah. situation you yeah. know it's like ah. yeah I thought like oh okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so but it you, was you caught it so yeah it, it was like you know it was not crazy or right. on the limit or so but it's something that uh, like hmm you know, but but that's something that you have with old cars once you start modifying the brakes and tires. Right. The, the yeah. stock systems cannot cope with it. It's just that you need to keep in back of your mind, like okay, if I brake really hard, it can do stupid shit. Yeah. But it's not that like you, even if you brake soft, that the car goes everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you drive some things and then it's like, what the fuck is happening here? Right. But it was overall good. So uh, you have a safe setup for what it is. It can right. be just better in terms of. Oh, you can always. Uh, always. So so solve the understeering issue. You know. Yeah. Okay. Because that's uh, that will make it like handle much better mm -hmm. you can go early on the gas because now a lot of sections are just like hello can we and then can you go we, on can the we, can we, and yeah, then i mean and then you try it and just like, uh, like yeah, yeah. Just pulls. And it pulls outside yeah. and that's uh no overall nice i like it thanks for the experience <laughs> thank you thank you for cool. the lab <laughs>